America has decided voters sending now president elect Donald Trump back to the White House for a second term after a red wave swept the country. Good evening, I'm Lauren Pastrana. Just hours ago, Vice President Kamala Harris addressed the nation to concede the election. We must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. Harris's defeat ends a whirlwind and historic election cycle. CBS News Miami's Naja Sherman joins us from Washington, D.C. with reaction to Harris's loss. The lawn this evening here at Howard University in Washington, D.C. was filled with hundreds of supporters. Vice President Kamala Harris said her heart was filled with gratitude and she encouraged her supporters to stay engaged. She said she is proud of her campaign and the way they ran it. On the campaign, I would often say, when we fight, we win. But here's the thing, here's the thing. Sometimes the fight takes a while. That doesn't mean we won't win. That doesn't mean we won't win. The important thing is don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Today I spoke with several people out in the community and they were very emotional. Here's some of our conversations. Take a listen. Maureen, describe to me the emotions you experienced when you woke up and saw the results. Frustrated. Uh, I work in disability community, so the work that we do is, is centered on the most vulnerable people in our community. And the, um, the way in which um, <laughs> uh, President elect Trump has talked about people with disabilities, how he has denigrated them. You're hurting right now. I am. I'm raising a child with a disability, and I know that where he is today is only because of the work that other people with disabilities, other civil rights activists have created. And I'm concerned about the future. Um, I mean, I was disappointed, heartbroken. It was really disheartening. Um, I think that for me, as a young black woman in America, um, I was really hopeful for what the outcome of this election would be. So you're at peace about things? Yes. Because my faith is not in Trump. My faith is in God. You know what I mean? And I believe that if we do what we're supposed to do, Pray for him. The vice president stressed that this is a time for unity and a peaceful transfer of power. She says that is one of the principles our nation was founded on. In Washington, D.C., Naja Sherman, CBS News, Miami.